Hello there, again, uh, this is That Sexy Motherfucker from Muppet.com, here with another Muppet.com tutorial. Today we're going to go ahead and uh, learn how to set up a uh, thumb drive for flashing an Xbox 360 with iProp 101. Uh, it's going to load your firmware onto your uh, thumb drive so you can boot from your thumb drive with a uh, hacked version of uh, Windows 98 to flash your Xbox 360. Alright, uh, first step to getting this done is you're going to want to download the program that's in the description called Auto Xpins 2008. Uh, once you have it downloaded, you're going to want to extract it from the archive, which is it's just an exe. Just extract it onto your desktop and go ahead and open that up. Uh, Alright, once you got it open, it'll uh, start running these commands up here, which is just connecting you to Xpins. Because um, without this program, you have to do it through IRC and an FTP client, and it's kind of annoying. So we're just going to let this run quick until we get the uh, two directories up here. Alright, um, now that we got these uh, two directories up here, we're going to want to navigate to the Xbox 360 and then go to uh, Firmware. Alright, now that we're in firmware, we're going to want to go to firmware tools and find the folder called iPrep 101, which is right here. Now in iPrep, it'll show up with version 8.8. .8. I personally don't like the new versions of it, it doesn't work as well as the old ones, so I'm going to ask you to navigate to old and download iPrep 101 006.rar. That's uh, the only version I've found to work good on my computer that's all that works at least uh, you can go ahead and try the other versions if you want to but for this tutorial I'm using version 6 now we're going to want to use uh, this folder with the two periods next to it to navigate back up and download this ixdef 1.5 iextreme this will allow the uh, iprep to run and use uh, the 1.5 firmware to load otherwise it won't recognize it as valid firmware All right. After you got those two things downloaded, you want to go up a file again, up one more, and go to hacked firmware. Once in hacked firmware, you want to want to go to BenQ bad six zero three eight, and then you're going to want to download iExtreme one point five for BenQ. This tutorial will only work for BenQ, just so you know. Um, if you want the other drives, I suggest going to xbox360mods.com and uh, checking out their guide called uh, Drive Hacking for Noobs. Uh, it'll teach you how to do the other ones. I only know how to do BenQ personally, so that's what I'm teaching. Um, so yeah, download the iExtreme 1.5 BenQ, and then uh, you can go ahead and uh, minimize Xpins for now. All right, you're going to want to install iPrep 101, which I've already done. I have it installed and ready to go. So uh, install iPrep. And once iPrep is installed, you're going to want to go to the ixdef and extract this XML file to the desktop. Go ahead and click OK. Alright, now you can close that. Now with that on the desktop, it's right here, um, you're going to want to go to uh, My Computer, Local Disk, Program Files, and uh, iPrep 101. Now under resources, you'll see that there is the uh, XML file right here. You're going to want to replace that, so just drag it in and drop it, and it'll pop up say, do you want to replace this file? Click yes. Alright, you can go ahead and close this now. <coughs> now what you want to do is open up iPrep, which is right here. Uh, click uh, select your SATA RAID controller. Click mark this patch MTK flash. Yours probably won't be marked to start off with, so go ahead and mark it. Uh, next, you're going to want to go to load firmware and select this iExtreme 1.5, which is the uh, just click on the archive, that's all you got to do. It'll say found BenQ stealth or iExtreme 1.5 stealth 12x. Do you want to use this file? Go ahead and click yes, and it'll load that there. Now, s the destination is the uh, where it'll set it up. Do not choose the C drive. 
you're going to want to choose whatever your flash drive is. Mine happens to be E. And then when this becomes clickable, you're going to want to click check that box and make it so that it's a bootable device. Uh, then what you want to do is go ahead and click prepare destination and this box will pop up saying making drive e bootable and it'll say a bunch of other stuff it's just uh, copying files over to your thumb drive um, uh, this is just because my uh, floppy drive is messed up that's why that popped up um, but this should still finish see it's finishing right now copying the batch files uh, firmware and the tools and then creating a backups directory and it says all done go ahead and click OK see uh, now you're done um, your drive is now set and ready to do the flashing um, this coming weekend I'm actually gonna have holy Jesus over we're gonna finish up this tutorial um, this is actually gonna end up being a three-part type thing uh, right now we already got the video up opening up your Xbox 360 now we have this one will be done is uh, setting up the uh, flash drive for flashing and then uh, the third part this weekend will be actually flashing your drive that'll be up soon go ahead and watch that um, thanks for watching go ahead and join the forums at our website and uh, start commenting thanks for watching this is that sexy motherfucker